Hi everyone, thank you very much for tuning in to our evening event. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through our face mask and actually show you how easy it is to make it, what the bottles look like and actually what it looks like when it's on. So the first thing I want to start with is actually preparation. Before you do any type of a face mask, you always need to cleanse your skin because basically it takes out sort of like some of them impurities that are sort of like sat on your skin surface which means the mask can work a lot better and a lot more efficient for you. So I just want to show you what I use. So this is our aloe hand and face mask or hand and face soap. It's just a liquid soap, really, really nice, but you only need really small amounts. Um, normally, if you think of a shower gel, you sort of like put it into your hand and then you wash all over with this. Don't use that amount. Use really, really small amounts. Otherwise, you'll be like me and I look like the Michelin man with bubbles everywhere because I was a bit of a doubt in Thomas. So that's what I always wash with regardless. But I've obviously just done my face before I've come down to do the face mask. So what is the difference with the aloe vera face mask? And it's basically the ingredients. Aloe vera works with the skin what it basically does is it goes down through the epidermal layers to the bottom layer and works its way out so it's repairing as it's going so with our activator so this is just the straightforward activator it's 99.6 percent pure aloe vera which means it carries the mask all the way down through the skin layers. So if you think of a grape, if you think of the face or your skin cells, they need moisture to keep them plump and keep everything out firm. Generally with all of your skin cells, they start to shrivel up. So like a grape, it sort of like goes in on itself. And what the activator does is it helps moisturize. So it plumps everything back up. And that's what actively it does. This is the powder, so it just comes in a really little, quite nice little box. All I always do before I do any of it is because it is very, very fine powder, is I just give a tap so when I open it, it doesn't go everywhere. So when you open it, all you've basically got is a little lid on top and then you can see, hopefully, some of the actual powder. So that's all it basically looks like. Just very, very fine powder. And that's what we actually make our mask with. Now, you can do consistencies at different levels. It's dependent on how you actually want it. So I just like to do an equal. So whatever I put in of mask powder, I make sure I put in exactly the same of the activator. If you want to concentrate on areas and you want that to be a little bit thicker, then just put a little bit more mask powder than activator. So I've got a little bowl and what I'm going to do is you can see the amount that I actually use. So that's the amount I'm going to do. This is just a teaspoon. So pop my lid back on because otherwise I'll just end up knocking it and it'll go everywhere. And then the actual activator has just got a little push down button exactly the same amount just to go in there and then just put it back down and then all you do to mix it is I've got a makeup brush so all you do as you can see it's a very small amount you're just mixing it into a paste now it'll go to start with it literally you get little like hard bits so just carry on doing it round and it goes to like a pink paste and you'll have a look at it and you'll think there's not a lot there it's enough to do your whole face I promise so let's have a look as you can see just tiny amounts don't need a lot of it and then when you go to put it on, now mine soaked up quite a lot into the brush, which is fine because it'll all come out. When you actually put it on, all you're doing is you're painting your face. And start from the middle out 
just like that. Do the other side. So you don't see a great deal. But all I'm doing is putting it over, coming down the middle of my nose. Now around my eyes, I've got sort of like quite fine lines around here. And the reason people suffer with fine lines around their eyes is because you don't sweat there. So it's the place that needs the most amount of moisture. So make sure I put it sort of like quite a lot on there. And then just down either side of the nose. As I said, you can see it's sort of like starting to come out on the other side. So just do down here. Don't be afraid to do under your nose and into the little creases here. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to hurt you. And then just round here. So all I'm doing is following my face line. Just put a little bit more around my eyes. There you go. And that's it. All used. Now what's actually happening is the oxygen is mixing with the aloe mask. And the reason it does that is it's starting to harden. So by the end of this, I won't be able to smile or talk properly because the whole thing would have hardened and it's quite funny. But what's happening is the oxygen itself is going to stop the oxygen getting to your skin, which is what you want, because what's then going to happen is all the blood capillaries are going to start racing around your face. And when it starts doing that, it starts plumping out your skin, which means it's getting all the moisture it needs into it because all the aloe is being soaked down. And by pushing with the um, blood vessels by pushing you get like a pink I go sort of like quite red in the face afterwards and it's just all the blood capillaries come into the surface but because they're coming to the surface it actually means it's pushing out some of them fine lines as well so completely natural it's just really nice I mean it's Sunday afternoon at the moment I'm not doing a lot the whole thing will last about five ten minutes it's dependent on when it dries but as soon as it dries it stops working so you can just wash it off and all you do when you wash it off is use tepid water and pat down your face don't do anything else with it you then just mix it around and it starts coming off now I can feel it really starting to harden around my mouth so I'm going to try not to laugh but I can feel it really sort of like quite a lot around my eyes as well and as you feel it around your eyes you sort of like your eyes start to get a little bit bigger because you can't do anything with them now, some people ask me, can you actually use it on your neck and on your decollete? Yes, you can. The only thing I would say if you're using it on your neck is make sure you leave this section here for your Adam's apple so you can swallow because it does go really, really tight. You don't have to do your whole face if you don't want to. Some people don't like doing all of their face and they would just prefer to do like the areas around here and around their eyes. That's absolutely fine. You just use less of the powder. And I'm now not being able to move my top lip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it now. But as you can see, it's just sort of like sat on there. Doesn't hurt. It's not really doing a great deal. Probably go and read for about five minutes. And then when I come back, I would have rinsed it all off. And I'll show you what type of creams that I use afterwards. And sort of like how my skin feels and looks. Okay, I'll speak to you in a little bit. Bye.